I'm Andy Jenkinson, caravan industry expert. Welcome to my channel. Hi, welcome to a new video. Now, I'm looking today at a brand new 2022 Rookie, and it's the large Rookie. Now, if you remember uh, a while ago, uh, if you look on the other videos, I did the small little Rookie, and um, it's a caravan I've known around now since about 2006. Made in Italy, I've done the boat home as well from Wingham, and this is a larger version of the little rookie I did obviously now this comes with a fixed bed front lounge side kitchen and corner washroom and a wardrobe here in the middle now I've reviewed one of these about f five years ago now and one of my main criticisms was they needed a window because on these sides here they didn't have a window at all it was just that window and I said at the time they needed windows anyway lo and behold that's what they've done they've added windows whether it was me I, don't, I doubt it very much but they've now added windows so i'm going to give you a quick review of this four berth van and um show you really what it's like now it's about 27,180, i think it is i'll put it on the end of the video after um, but anyway let's crack on and uh let's start off here at the lounge right i'm going to start off in the front lounge here and what it is it's a wrap round seat in the front end here and when it comes to making up your double bed I mean, it's a very sociable area, but when you come to making it, this table goes down, locks into position, and that makes up for your bed base. This then forms as a double. Now, there's two blown air heater, heater outlets down the bottom end there in this uh, locker here. And also, uh, what they've done, they've put two windows on the side here. Now, originally, that, that wasn't the case because it was rather dark in here uh, at this front end. And, and I said on a, on a review I did for Practical Caravan at the time, it needed these windows. And lo and behold, a few years later, they've put them in. But what I'm a little bit disappointed about is there is very little in the way of any, any storage here at all. I mean, there's just this little shelf here, and that's obscured by the slope of the window, because as we saw from the outside shots, it's very aerodynamic. And so it does feel very spartan for any storage, so you've nothing to put anything on, which is a little bit of a down as far as I'm concerned. Lighting, we've got touch lighting here, which comes on and off, or you can have it as a bit of a mood lighting, and back onto bright lighting again. Okay, let's go into the kitchen area. Right, now, the last one I looked at didn't have a microwave in it at all. And they've done like they did on the little rookie. They put the microwave here on a on a little shelf above, and it it's okay, it's fine, but it does look as a little bit of an afterthought, which I think it really is. But anyway, at least you've got a microwave, at least you've got a bit of shelf in here, and you've got an LED strip light here over the kitchen. You've got a Dometic fridge freezer, but you have no oven and you've no grill. You've got to remember that. But you've got some good storage here, and I'll tell you something. It's very very solid. There's also your light sockets here, a uh, switch, and also there's a main socket here. There's a small two burner hob here, um, and also a very large sink here, so for washing up, uh, that's not bad at all. 
work surface where you are restricted to here and of course you'd have to put that put that down to add for your extra work surface of course storage some more storage up here and I just wonder if they could have actually maybe put the microwave up here out of the way but I mean everything feels solid on the Wingham I mean those the Wingham Motown that I did and the Wingham Little Rookie everything does feel very solid um, as I say this is around about £27,000 it's not cheap but this is a, a GRP shell so the, thing, the chances of this leaking are very 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 slim indeed here we've got another big cupboard and also we've got another heater outlet here at the bottom too overall it's pretty practical but as I say if you miss your grill you're going to be a bit stuck maybe on the options list there could be an oven stroke combined grill I'd have to look at that but on the whole it looks very nice it's smartly put together it's this very modern very contemporary interior and it's very solid right I'm going to take you now in to the bedroom area side fixed bed of course which comes with decent storage underneath the mattress is a I think is what I can see is a memory foam mattress and it looks relatively comfortable now for some people you might find that big bed isn't as big as it could be and I'm sure you'd have to try it first to see if it would fit you if you like but what you do get um, above the bed you get some good storage lockers some good deep storage lockers up there and you get a skylight above here uh, which has unfortunately gone missing because it got blown off apparently when it was being transported um, obviously that's going to be replaced but lots of storage a shelf you've got some LED uh, spot lamps in the corner there uh, but again um, regarding anything sort of any extra storage like another shelf up here you, you are reliant on, on that one there um, on the uh, above the bed now when it comes to more storage you've got the wardrobe here which is pretty good and in here as well is the chopping board thing to cover under your sink and that weighs a ton I think I said that in the wing and moto now for four people I think you could find that quite tight but having said that this is going to be mainly used as a two berth tourer you've got drawers here as well and again nice just nice and solid and feels really well put together and just while we're here for the controls they're just above the door which is a big chunky molded door piece with a bit of storage at the bottom there plus as well you've got the uh, Truma heating controls to the right of the main control panel right what we're going to do now is we're going to go and have a quick look at the washroom right now this bathroom is quite smart to be quite honest but what I did notice if you're a little bit on the larger side like myself getting through this door is quite narrow but anyway back to the actual uh, washroom itself there's a little sink hand basin there and there's a window in here as well there's some storage as, uh, as well underneath the uh, the hand basin and they've used they use a Dometic loo in there which is quite expensive very smart very flashy but I think a Fetford uh, uh, at a cheaper cost would have been just as good and when it comes to the shower which is very smartly done but you are using a shower curtain and again, you've got your dim lights it's very well lit in here there's no doubt about it and again you've got some more storage just at this top end here too you can actually change in here, I suppose, but as I say, um, it's quite, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's, again, it's down to well, it's nice and finished off, it's very contemporary, but this door is, is quite narrow, it really is. But anyway, let's do a quick summary of what we think of the Wingham Touring Caravan fixed bed. Right, so what do I think of the Wingham L? Well, I think it's quite a smart tourer. Um, it's different. It's probably a niche market. That GRP shell is a very slippery shell to go slipping through the, the for, through a headwind. Um, it is very aerodynamic tourer. It's very well made. At twenty-seven thousand pounds, just over. It's not cheap, but it does feel very substantial as I've just said and it's pretty practical the washroom as I say is a good size washroom getting through that door is a little bit tricky um, uh, it is a narrow uh, doorway 
also you know things like the ceramic the sorry the dometic loo also is something that really could get away with using a thetford toilet in there uh, instead of and um, probably save a few quid but on the whole i really like it if it had some more locker storage over here i think that would be the icing on the cake but for somebody wanting something different this may be your bag maybe it's just something you should come and have a look at now what i will also remind you is there's no curtains on and that seems to be the way things are going but again it might have not been a bad idea if at the front end here they've put some mock curtains up there um because what they've done on the side here they've put like um a net curtain and i think that even if they just put nets on the side it would have just broken up that sort of clinical look a little bit but anyway massive big gas locker exterior locker to get into the bed at the back here and its weight well i'll come up at the end of the video i've towed one of these round up in the eden valley up the round penrith up round there uh, a few years ago uh well, the score was superb 150 diesel in snow uh, it was unladen but it was great i went down back roads and everything and i never felt at all uh, nerved about where i towed it so i think if you're not used to towing something like this would be quite easy to tow but anyway what i'll do is i'll wrap this video up and say thank you very much for watching please keep subscribing please keep pressing the like button and i'll see you on the next video bye for now